Ini dia. There's tables for niggers in the back. She may sit here with me. Well, Miss Benson, I can't let her. She's Just one moment. Her. Come here, girl. What will you have? This I can read. The world is changing very fast. Sit. How old is Edna? Six months. So you have lots of milk. I don't suppose you're looking for a job. No. I've gone north. This would only distract you for a while. I have a boy, William, of 15 months. I cannot feed him. I have a wet nurse, but she's uppity, and her milk, I think, a little sour. Anyway, William doesn't like it. I pay quite well. I could, but excuse me for accent, but is you very religious? It's none of your business. But yes, I believe in the Lord. Is you on a mission, the Negro folk, saving their soul? <laughs> I don't believe that you Negroes have soul. <laughs> All right, then. We can work for you, just for a little while. I don't like no red hair boss man. No, I don't. 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 I don't like no two-time woman. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't, 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 no, I don't. Where are they going, Micah? They on strike. Strike? Sick of working for pennies in the field. They won't better pay. Well, I ain't never heard of it. Negro folk on strike. I don't like it, Miss Queen. They're gonna beat you up. Control here. Whatever happened to law and order in this town? That's why we sit for you. This is a law here now. I'll bring order. I'll bring. I'll send them all to hell. Get over there. I want good fresh fruit. I don't trust that hotel. There? No, not there. They are Semitic. What's Semitic? Jews, Semites. We do not give them our business. There's another down the street. Our cause is just. He's in pay for a decent day's work. Cash instead of vouchers, good only at the plantation store. They promised us better things and better times. But those better days never seem to come. And I am overflowing with their unkept promises. I don't care what they say they will do. I judge them only by what they have done. And up until now, they have done nothing. So from now on, we take That's it. only what is ours. Oh. Only what has been promised to us. Only what we have been promised. Blue boy is your pappy. No, Queen, no, daughter. The 
time is now. It's getting out of hand. Rest that boy. These warrants are legal. They've not been signed. Well, then sign them now. For God's sake, they're just a bunch of blacks. What are the charges? There's no law against free men withholding their labor in this country. If white men can strike, why can't blacks? Release the prisoners. Come on. There's a woman. She says she know you. You got any idea what it's like for a woman stuck on her own with a child? No man to turn to? I felt safe with you for the first time in my life. I trusted you. But you're just like all men. You get what you want in the hell with us women. You wanted my child? I gave you that. I wanted part of you. And you got part of me. And you got him. But you can't have all of me. There are too many battles to be fought. This is where the black man draws the line and says, enough, no more. That's real fine, brave talk from a man who didn't even have the guts to say goodbye. Not even a word or a letter. I can't write and you know it, woman. And you should have sent a piece of paper with your mark on it. Something, anything. That's my mark. You had that. You got that. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. I got you. 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 I don't care. I got you. I got you. It's worth a day of her anger. I'd ask you to stay, but it ain't safe. You the leader? Not the leader. The center. I'm scared for you. I'm scared for me, too. Sorry, missus. The boy's been awake all night long. I haven't had a wink of sleep. And poor Mr. Benson had so much on his mind. I suppose you've been with Abner's father. Yes, but... Well, I'm very angry with you, Queen. But perhaps circumstances are somewhat unusual. You're a good nanny, so I shall simply dock you a day's pay. Yes, missus. Thank you. Yes. It'll be terrible work done this night. It is the clan. Thank you, Miss Lee. I'll keep having the safe with me.
You gotta want him. They're coming for him. They're coming for you. You gotta go. But they won't find me. They know. You let them come. Can't run forever. And I'm gonna stay here with you. No, no. No, no, you go to the boy. You keep him safe. He's the future. No. I love you, Queen. I love you, girl. Miscegenation is our destruction. The African black was a harmless, docile creature that could be kept in the place that God and the Bible had assigned him. But the liberal Yankee and the lecherous Jew have inbred with the animal to create a new and impure race that think of themselves our equal. They take food out of your mouth. They take the land from our people. They're going to take our women. I'm not afraid to die in defense of my country and my way of life. I'm not afraid to kill for my way of life. It is my sacred duty to God. It is my sacred duty to God. It is my sacred duty to God. Say it. Say it. Duty to God. Say it. Say it. It's my sacred duty to God. Say it loud. It's my sacred duty to God. You must chop them out. You gotta chop them out. You gotta chop them out. Root and branch. If the tree of white hope is gonna survive, so you let them burn. Come on. Say it. Say it. Burn. Burn. Let the nigga burn in hell. He isn't here, Queen. Abner's doing God's work tonight. It's for William, you see, and all the little white children of America. It is our sacred, bounden duty to make sure they inherit a world of peace and order. It is God's law. A pure and clean America, unsullied by animal blood. I see the hand of providence here. The Lord sent you to us to make this night's work easier. The Lord had deserted us for our sins, but now he has returned to us in glory. Come on out, nigger. Rotten hell. I ain't coming out. Come on. We have Abner, your son. Watch him burn. Let this be a lesson to all niggers. Let this be a lesson to the boy. Him burn, and you remember, boy. Yeah, you watch your daddy burn. Watch him. Watch him. Oh. 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 I went down to you.
on aboard now. Come on aboard. Five cents, man. We hit. No. See, there's an endless river of niggas going north. Yes, sir. Goes north on my ferry. And after a few months, comes back south with nothing in their pockets but broken dreams. Besides, what's up north but cold weather and cold hearted Yankees? Jobs. There's jobs down here. Old Master Cherry looking for a new kitchen maid. But everybody wants to go up north. Good job for someone. Room and board, good eating. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know Dora, who cooks for Master Cherry. Mm. Oh, hog ribs with sauce. Mm. That's some kind of heat. Hush <laughs> up, man. I ain't that chick. <laughs> yeah, I just saying. Can't find a good hog up north. The skinny old things up there. charge you for taking you back where you just came from. Only, don't you let all these other folks know, otherwise they all want a free ride. I don't want no charity. I'm going to pay you back soon I get a job. Yes, ma'am, I understand that. I just ain't sure how much interest to charge you. Henry, yeah, okay. you had school in... How much interest we going to charge this lady on fast? Keep the folks down and they look... What you looking at? Take your eyes off me. You men all the same. Just got one thing on your mind. Keep your eyes off me. You hear me? Uh, yes, ma'am. I hear you. I'm going to look at you. Promise. Laura B. Paul, that is one mean damn woman. <laughs> Ain't she just? <laughs> Pretty day. You look better. How's the job? You're looking for me to say thanks or something. Forget it. I'd have managed somehow. Sure you would. Did you put some of those on Ain't you got a fare to run? Sadie, my boy does it. I work my land. And I'm not the biggest block of land, but we get by. And with the fare, we do pretty well. How well you do or how well you don't do ain't nothing to me. Soon I get a few dollars saved, I'm going up. Just saying. Hey, then, now, little fella. What's your name? You be that child, be he mine. And ain't nobody ever gonna take him away from me. Lord, woman, I just asking him his name. Ain't no business of y'all. Now, I got work to do if you ain't. The child's called Abner. Fine name for a boy. Biblical. <laughs> hmm. 
Well, you must be queen. Yes, sir, massa. And don't call me massa. My name is Mr. Cherry. Yes, sir, Miss Cherry, sir. Well, I'm pleased Dora was able to find a job for you. If you work hard, I'm sure you'll be with us a long time. Oh, no. I ain't staying. I just here till I get back on my feet. Then I'm going to know. I'm going to open me a flower shop. Oh, I understood from Dora it was to be a more permanent situation. Oh, no. I ain't going to be no kitchen skivvy all my life. Well, I'm glad to see you're ambitious, Queen. Since I'm paying you as a maid, and you don't plan to be with us very long, maybe you'd better be about your work. Yes, sir. Mr. Jerry, sir. I suppose my position has always seemed to be a paradox. An abolitionist who kept slaves. But it made sense to me. And to the slaves, apparently. Most of them stayed with me after the war. Um, although Queen is new to us. Girl, get me some cool spring water. Has this house been in your family a long time? Well, actually, the house and the land belong to my dear late wife. They were a wedding gift from her father, and the slaves came with the land. I said, cool water, girl. This is positively tepid. Get me some ice. I always knew that slavery must end someday, and... So I organized the farm with that in mind. Oh, oh girl, my side is something wet. Sorry, your cloth, you stupid nigger. You ain't have no right calling other people names when you don't know nothing about them. My pappy was white, and he is a for him, and they came from Ireland. I got more Irish blood in me than anything. I may not look Irish, but that's what I am. And if you go shaking your family tree, you just may find you got a little itty bitty bit of nigger blood in you too. And if you ain't. That ain't give you no right to go calling other people names. How dare she? I am so sorry. Our queen is, is somewhat highly strung. Oh, you'll dismiss her, of course. Well, I will certainly have very stern words with her. She could be right, Daphne, old girl. You never know what your pappy or grandpappy got up to with those slave girls. <laughs> Don't be oh. vulgar, Charles. <laughs> Queen, what were you thinking of? She insulted me. Well, it is not your place to embarrass my guests. I don't care how they behave. Now, unless you can learn to keep your temper under control, I'm... I'm just gonna have to make other arrangements. Well, that suits me just fine. You figure out who your friends are, Missy. Mr. Chair has been kind enough to offer you a home here. A home. That's where folks love you. It's time you let go all that pain that's eaten on you and let somebody love you. You're gonna be fine, boy. We're gonna be just fine. Hear me? We don't need them. We ain't need nobody. Well, Mr. Cherry likes a happy house. If you carry on like that, he won't have a job. You try talking to her? She won't talk to me. Sit with me. She just stays up in that room and nurses that boy. Got to tell me about it. You wouldn't be looking for another Mrs. Haley by any chance. Why, Dora, don't you start? Well, now. it's time you were. That boy, your and Henry, needs a mammy. And you'll be needing somebody to take care of you, too. Uh, you know I'm not in the market, and I told you that I... Mm -hmm. You told me a thousand times. Still don't believe you.
Hey, Rich, yeah. He was in the garden, but he gone. Oh, he can't be gone too far. Oh, God. Maybe he's down by the river. He can't swim. He's too little. Place. What's he doing at your pappy's place? The hair was so far here, he thought, I just lie down and have a little nap. <laughs> and when he did, old man Tardis came lumbering along and passed him by and won the race. Passed him by? Yeah, before the hair woke up. Woke up? Yeah. That's a very old story by a black man called Esau. You give that child to me. Just telling them stories. I don't want you telling them no stories. Keep away from them, you hear me? The whole world seems to think they know what better for my boy than me. Can't wait till I get out of here. Soon I get a few dollars saved, I'm going. Well, how much you need? I told you a fault. I don't want your charity. And you've been told before no one offering you charity. We all be glad to see the back of your bad temper. But if he gets you on your way any quicker, you can work for me in your spare time for Mr. Cherry. Bit of housekeeping. Looking after my boy Henry. But it'll be worth it in the long run just to get you out of here. How much? Quarter an hour. How many hours? As many as you can manage. When can I start? Right now, if you want to. Well, I ain't gonna talk to you except when I have to. And keep away from my boy, you hear me? Suits me just fine. All right, Abner, you sit right here while I clean up this mess. Lord, no, it's a piece. afternoon off? Doris said to ask you, sir. Well, of course, Queen. What for? Well, it's Saturday, and I wanted to spend time with my family. With Abner. All right. Well, the thing is, could I have every Saturday afternoon off? I ain't gonna make no difference. I'm gonna get all my work done around here, I promise. And Doris said that... All right. As long as you're not spending these afternoons working for somebody else. What I do with my time is my business. Well, I shall have to make an adjustment in your salary, of course. Well, that ain't fair. I'm gonna be working double hard to get everything done. And I ain't a slave no more. Queen... I have tried to be fair with you from the moment you came to us, but you have never returned the compliment. You tell me you're not staying, you insult my dinner guests, and now you expect me to pay you for time when you're not working. You are the most honorary maid I have ever had. It will not do, Queen. You may have Saturday afternoons off, but your other boss can pay for them. Fine, Mr. Cherry, sir. Thank you, sir. Gotta get back to the house. You look tired. Working two jobs. It ain't easy. You don't want this job? I ain't say that. Well, take the weight off your feet. Uh, just for a spell. I find. What is the matter with you, woman? You think I'm gonna bite you or something? I'm just asking you to sit a little, to talk a little bit. I don't wanna sit. Why not? You got something against sitting down next to a man? You so scared of people? You ain't have no right to talk to me like that. Hey, no, I ain't. But it's time somebody did. Now, you may not know who you are, black, white, yellow, or sky blue peak, and it don't matter a bit, because I know what you are. Toting that boy around here. What oh, I do with my boy, my boy? Never, never talking peaceful to a living soul. 
hating the world for whatever the world done, done to you. If you think you can live in that glass case with that boy for the rest of your life, you're a fool, woman. You're the biggest damn fool the good Lord ever put on this earth. That's what you are. Well, maybe for a minute. Chair since Tenny died. It was her chair. They all know it. And they don't sit in it. You miss her? Very much. Miss Anderson. Stephen's gone. I get in there. I get in there. I best be going now. See you tomorrow. Pickled beef with a mustard sauce and a nice pie for dessert. Oh, pecan pie would be nice. Or whatever you decide, Dora. You always serve a fine table. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back later. Now, that's all right, Queen. You can do it now. No trouble. I'm going to start on the bedroom. Well, she really lights up this old place when she smiles, doesn't she? Well, don't look at me. Ain't nothing to do with me. Well, let's just hope it continues. Why can't I take a bath on my own? I'm a man. Really? Yes, Henry. Yes, you are. So, I'm going to turn my back. Next year, I'll be old enough to work on the farm. Then, no more school. I hate school. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Henry. Mm. Why you hate it so bad? Mm. Just cause. Just cause you ain't good at it? School ain't the way around here. Boys go to school cause they have to, to sixth grade. Then they work the land, sharecropping. And since you got a little ways longer, why don't you try something for me? Instead of waking up each morning saying, I hate it, try waking up each morning saying, I like it. Would you do that for me? Good boy. Mm. Abner sleep in the big bed. Mm. Guess I'm just going to leave him there. Ain't no use waking him now. Fine. 
How's Cena's going? Not too good. I uh, reckon it's gonna be a long, long time before I have enough money saved to leave here. Jackson, take this man, Alec Haley, to have and to hold in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, for better or worse, as long as ye both shall live? I do, with all my heart. I now pronounce you man and wife. you and we ask that you bless and protect our new son Simon bless and protect our new son Simon Jesus sake amen amen the boy whole life for him. There ain't nothing else for a boy in these parts to be. Listen, you wanted to be a boot black. Well, there ain't Mrs. Haley, you should be very proud of him. He has done so well this year. We are all going to miss him. He worked real hard. Well, he seems to love to learn. It seems a pity that all that work will go to waste. Well, his papa need him on the farm with Abner. Oh, Lord, Simon is never going to learn one end of a hoe from the other. Makes me mad, you know. There have been other boys who should have stayed at school, but no, their pappies need them on the land. Law, there ain't that much land for all those boys to work. It's just such a terrible waste. His papa just can't see the use in no more school. Somebody better see the use of it one day. 
Else all we'll have is a race of sharecroppers. Sorry, Ma, I was swapping marbles. Next time your mammy call, you come, you hear? You have a good vacation, Simon. Yes, sir. Doesn't seem any point in telling him to study hard when he's not coming back next year. Bye-bye. Huh. Going home now, Ma? Yeah, we're going home. Simon, if you had your druthers, what would you be? Oh, I'd like to be all sorts of things, Ma. And do things. I want to see the world. Most of all, I want to stay in school. And maybe even go to college. No. Ah. I said no. Simon leaving the school just like Abner did. That's what boys do in these parts. I need him on the land, you hear? I heard you the first time. Just can't believe what I'm hearing. Dang, dumb it! <clears throat> we ain't rich. And we certainly ain't wondering where our next meal coming from. It been hard. But it been good. Because I thought it had a purpose. But now, I just wonder, what has it all been for? It's been for us and the children, so they have a better day to look forward to than we ever had. Where's the better day for that boy? He worked hard, too. Get the best grades of any boy in the district. And now he got to throw it all away because his pig-headed old pappy say, boys got to work on the farm. Thought you had become somebody. Thought you were somebody who could afford to waste just one boy so he could follow his own star to his own better day. <laughs> wasting a boy? Since you seem to think school and a waste, you would be wasting him. Because some folk think schooling is a way to better yourself. Ain't too many men in the district can afford to do that, black or white. <laughs> All right, I'll waste him. said yes. Yahoo! But you're going to have to work. Oh, yes, Mom. You got to find the yes, money. Yes, Mom. Your books. Yes. Abner, come take my shoes off for me. It's good you're going back to school, Mama. He sure ain't never going to be a farmer. Don't you get no idea about leaving, Abner. Don't ever leave your poor mama. You hear? Yes, mama. Reckon I'll have me one. Five cents. Don't give me lip, nigga. Pour the lemonade. What you gonna do with all our money? Buy books for school. Books? My, my, you must be your teacher's pet. I like sweet. Want a whole lot of lemon in it. Tastes like old dishwater to me. Look, there's ten lemons in that. Now give me my money. Get him! Get off of me! Get off of me! Give my boy his money. Don't know what you're talking about. You drink his lemonade and you ain't pay for it. 
crazy nigga. I didn't touch his stuff. Don't you call me nigga, you trash. And don't call me crazy neither. Ma! You go crying for your mammy. Get out of here. She hit me! What's going on, Tommy? That crazy nigger woman hit me. He drank my boy lemonade and he ain't pay for it. I tell you, hit my boy. Hit my boy first. I gonna get the law on you. You better get out of here, nigga. He has been in the house with me all day. You understand me? Come on, Mama. Let's go. Let's go home. What's all this commotion? He and his friend drink lemonade and ain't pay for it. And they beat up on my boy. Now they owe him 10 cents. I ain't leaving here till I gets it. Is that true? Give her the money. I ain't giving her the time of day. She beat up on my boy. I'm gonna have her in court. I ain't leaving here till I gets it. Oh, you leaving here all right. For the love of Pete. Oh, here. But you think I want your charity? I just want what's truthfully mine. You think I'm just some poor negra you can beat up on, cheat and lie to? Like you're beating, cheat and lie to all niggers? How much white blood you got hey, you? you keep huh? your hands off me. Much as me? Look at me. Look at me. I look as white as you do. But I ain't. I'm black because my mammy was negra. But that don't give you the right to cheat me out of what's mine by rights. Now, I don't want your damn white charity. All I want is what's rightfully mine. What's doing me? Are you going to get rid of her? Give her the money. The woman's man. She ain't. She just suffered, that's all. We don't need your money. We got money. We can manage. Come on, Mama, let's go home. Let's just go home. What kind of law are you? You hush your mouth, woman. Run you down the pole. where I was born. I growed up here with my mammy. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Amen. Who's James Jackson Jr.? Our grandpa.
This here, where my mammy resting. Why ain't she buried at the other place? The nice place? Because she was a slave. All these here were slaves. Was you a slave? Mm -hmm. I was born in a little weaving house. Come on, I'll show you where it is. Come on. Look, Mama. Mama. My pappy gave these to my mammy. However many years have they been here? Old Captain Jack used to read to me from him. Who Captain Jack? He was my grandpappy. He taught me to read and write with these here cards. Wasn't supposed to. Wasn't legal for blacks to read back then. It is now, though, ain't it? Yes, it is now. And you gotta make good use of it, boy. You gotta do your learning, read your books, and do good in school. You gotta make something of yourself. You got it in you to be more than just a feel and Now read your books and do your learning. Promise me. Yes, Mama. Good boy. Now, you gonna go visit the big house where I grew up. Mama, I did try hard at school. I know you did, boy. I know. It smells funny. So old. Used to be pictures on the walls, lacy curtains, all bright and airy. You really lived here? For years and years, this was my home. What are you doing here? Miss Lizzie, these here my sons. I came by to show them my old home. I can't imagine why, Queen. There's nothing for you here. This was never your home, nearly a house in which you live. This was my home. My growing up, my life, my dreams and my nightmares. It was part of my life, and it's part of theirs, too. Whatever relationship you like to think you had with this house is over now. Buried with my husband. I don't like to thank Miss Lizzie. I know. You don't belong here. You never have. Come on. Mama, who's that? Let's go home. Ain't this your home? No, child. Home is where you are loved. I hope you are all as proud of yourselves today as I am proud of you. I would mention each one of my students if we had the time. But there is one boy in particular I would like to mention. Simon Haley has been an inspiration to me as a teacher and an example to his fellow students and is the first black boy in Savannah who has ever finished grade school. Well, you must be doing pretty well for yourself. You can afford to waste a boy like that. Pretty well. I don't suppose you'd be good for a loan. Just a couple of dollars, you know, to the harvest.
extraordinary what you've done, Simon. It's always been my dream to bring a boy to what you've done. Yes. Would you go on down and enjoy yourself? I want to have a little talk with your mammy. Yes. by the river. Go here. I wonder what those two broody hens are hatching up. I think they're hatching up Simon's future. I like it. Simon only 15. Too young to be going out in the world all on his own. So. Then why you bring it up? Because he got to. He can. There ain't no got to about it. You was a slave. I was a slave. We free now, but we still think like slave. We still think at our place to serve. And that's all niggas ever gonna be if we go on thinking like that. We got to start taking what we can get instead of just getting what we allowed to have. You ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. We two set in our ways. But the youngins, they can do it. Well, I ain't letting them. I may be too set in my ways, but he ain't going and that's it. Nigga boy going to normal school. I ain't heard the lack of it. That's your final word. That, that's my final you? word. I think it should go, Pa. And he's useless on the farm. And we don't need another hand. The two of us could work this. He ain't going. Must be getting old or something. Well, you are. You're getting old. And you got no idea what the modern world's coming to. And if it helps any, I feel the same way. <laughs> Colored boy going to normal school. It'll be college next. Dang coming. But then if he can do it, why not? You're way past the age when you should be working. And you ain't working, and you should be. Yes, Paul. You be a useless damn worker now anyway. So ain't a lot of point in putting you on the land. We got to do something with you. So I'm sending you to normal school. If you like it or not, and you better like it, and you better do good. Yes, Paul. Thank you, Paul. And you better not get into trouble. You know about girls now, or you should. And I don't want you getting any trouble with girls. No, sir. No trouble at all. I, I, I promise. Good Lord knows what this is going to cost. He ain't made of money. But I'm giving you $50. That's it. Ain't no more. Got this darn scholarship thing. And if you need anything else, you're going to have to work for it. Yes, sir. I work hard. I promise. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Most fool thing I ever done. Oh, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Nothing to do with me. All your papa idea. Uh, ain't you pleased? Why well, should it be? My little boy going on to the big bad world. Go some, please. Would you think I touched your head? <laughs> oh, Mom. Now you go tell all your friends, don't be late now. I ain't got long with you. Papa, you better go on, boy. Something wrong, Abner? You gonna tell me or not? I wanna go too, Mom. Go where? I ain't know. 
Some place. Any place I ain't know. Memphis was Simon. Chicago made. Oh, Abner, that fool talk. No, it ain't. We ain't going nowhere. How come Simon can go? I can't go. Cause that different. He going for a purpose. For a reason. And what you gonna do? End up on the street like half the other niggas go up north? I can find me a job, mama. But I ain't much use for no sharecroppers up north. I ain't nothing else you know how to do. You ain't have no idea what it's like out there. I don't care what you say, Mom. I'm not going. It's all this nonsense your mammy told me, Abner. Ain't nonsense. I won't go. Do what? It's not for you up there. That's what you think, Papa. I can't be doing the same thing day in and day out. Coming home every night, cotton tough in my hair, going to the same place, doing the same thing, seeing the same people. But I don't want to end up with my gut bust from drawing cotton bell. I just got to go. You did it, Mama. You left home to find your place in the world. Simon is going. Well, why I can't go? Simple truth is, I can't afford you to go. And Henry can help work the farm? I know that. I mean, I can't give you any money to go. Send the Simon cost me enough. Papa, I ain't want no money. I got a few dollars of my own saver. And, and, and I'll go find a job. That's fair. Ah! He can't go. B -b papa said. Don't listen to your papa on this. He ain't your real papa. You listen to me. You hear me? Man's woman. Oh, jeez. Let you know, boy. This here ain't no man's work.
She ain't hurt bad. She cold. She hungry. She a little sick. She touched in the head. It's real kind of you to bring her. We'll fish you something to eat. Ain't no need. I'm right sorry to see her this way. Come on, Queen. You love to hear. You're home now. You're home. I ain't mad. You hear? Must be something wrong.
Been asking myself for days now. What I did wrong. Thought we had a good life. What else has these 15 years been about? I tried to make a good home for us. Tried to be a good parent to all my boys. I loved them all. But I tried hardest for the Abner. Because it wasn't mine. It was some part of you that I could never reach. And I thought if I reached him, I might reach you. I can't figure out what I did wrong. What have you done wrong? From. What you hear? Some one of us did. If it weren't me, I want you to be well and happy. But if you can't be well, I want you to be happy. And if you can't be happy, I want you to be well. All my life, I tried to work out where I belong. I tried to fit in with what other people wanted. Nobody ever asked what I wanted. Nobody ever really cared. You're wrong about that woman. I cared for you. I loved you with all my heart. I loved you with all my heart. Ask to see me. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, Miss Jerry. But I need a favor from you now. My boy Simon going away. Leaving for Memphis. Going to normal school. Always been my dream to go to college. Well, you have every reason to be very proud of him, Queen. Now, why did you want to see me? The thing is, Born Abner want to go too. Not for school, just away. He want to find his own place in the world. I try to stop him. Try to talk him out of it. I was wrong. He got the right to be his own man. But we done gave all up. Simon. Ain't nothing left for Abner. So I need some money. Just fifty dollars. If you can lend it to me, I'll work for you when I get out of here and pay you back. Do you really want him to go away, Queen? No. 
do. But I ain't got no right. Stop. Well, I would be pleased to lend you the money, Queen. <laughs> And as for paying it back, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that another time. Very kind of you. Now, Queen, perhaps it's time for you to return to your room. If I don't go, will that make Mama better? Man, that ain't the real problem. She tried to keep you in a glass cage all your life because of things that happened. She won't talk about them. But she's got to let you go eventually. What's ailing her, Pa? Guess I keep wondering if it's me. Dragging me if you want to. You'll be wasting your time. I leave it here today, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. We'll get a doctor for you. But now let's get back to your room. I ain't moving. What is all this, Queen? I want to go home. It's not a very good idea. I have to. My two boys, they're going away. They're leaving. And I want to say goodbye to them. Queen, you're too sick to... I ain't that sick. I know I've got a few demons in me. I don't suppose they're going to ever go away. But I ain't a danger to nobody. Except maybe me. Well, you can protect you. Look after you here. You think I'm gonna get better here? Doctor? I should be home. Well, love. No. Even if that were true, how are you gonna get home? It's 50 miles. And look at you. You haven't even tied your shoes.
I was wrong. I done the wrong thing by you. I just loved you so much. I didn't want to let you go. I was wrong. Mama. Hush now. Go on. You go with my blessing. Just promise me one thing. Anything, Mom. Just one. Wherever you go, whatever you do, always remember that you're loved. And if in, you don't find what you're looking for out there in that big, bad world, and if in, you got troubles, or you're lonely, you're scared, just can't manage no more, remember, no matter how far you done travel, it ain't such a long road home. Put him up there, son. I'll make you proud of me, Mama. I will. Remember what I told you. Simon, time to go. That's all the money I had now. You get on it. Get going. Bye, Mama. They're too young. They can't go. Get up there. It's too late. Bye, Paul. Come on. Bye, Mama. Bye. Bye. Miss him. Mm-hmm. Just gonna have to make do with you then. Wanna? Mm-hmm. When I was a little girl. I lived in my pappy big house. I have sister Jane. We slept in the same room. Only she had a big four poster. And I slept at a pallet foot of a bed. We'd lie in our bed, dream of our future. I always said that I was going to marry a prince on a white horse. Jane would laugh at me. I'm going to marry a ragged, itty bitty slave girl like you, Queen, she said. She shouldn't have laughed. She was wrong. Only thing is, how could I possibly have known that when I did see my prince, wasn't going to be on no white horse, but he'd be riding on a ferry boat crossing the mighty river. It's all right, then. Yeah.